All right, so I finally wanted to update all of my hand tools and the brands that I had previously had was Husky. I even had some uh, heart tools. Since the tool sales were here, I figured I'd get all brand new stuff that I actually designate for the house instead of multifunctional tools so these don't rust over like all my other ones did. I do use my hand tools a lot while I'm in water and I'm tired of my tools rusting over because I need all of these to actually do their job. So these are brand new still. I haven't used these too much yet, but not enough to actually do a full review on. So in the future, I'm actually gonna do a video on these after I actually use these for an X amount of time. And I am glad that I hit up this sale over at Lowe's. But I wanted to unbox this bad boy and see how this brad nailer is. I wanted this brad nailer since it came out. And I'm excited that I finally got it and I got it for free. Three batteries, a six amp hour, four amp hour, and two amp hour HP batteries with a charger. All this I spent $159 for. Batteries at two bars on the four amp hour, one uh, bad bar on the six amp hour, and the two amp hour, which I actually love the design of this two amp hour. And I do have the previous model six amp hour HP battery, lithium plus HP. This battery still works. I got this like four years ago and it still lasts uh, long on a single charge. But as you can see, there is a major difference between these two when it comes to size. I already, I pointed this out in a previous video already. And so, yeah, I'm excited to get this charged up and get this working. Look at, oh my God, look at that. Oh, heck yeah, that is amazing. I like that design. That is good. It, it is airstrike technology. Ryobi did a fantastic job on this design. I do have the previous modeled airstrike uh, crown nailer. I have a brad nailer as well. I do not know wh where it is, but this thing, this thing is cool. I'm so glad I got this single shot or continuous shot, which I like that. It does have two LEDs. Oh, just one. It has one LED on the front. It does have a depth gauge right here. You could increase the pressure by the dial in the back. So let's actually check this out. Let's see how this is. I am disappointed that there's only a single LED light on that. I am, I was hoping that there will be two. All right, let's check this out. There is a, let's see if that's a safety. Nope. I think that is a light button that is right under the trigger. Wow. That actually is a lot faster than the previous model. Five eighths to two and one eighths. All right, so that's single shot, so you can't just do this. We'll put it back to the multi-shot. There you go, back to single shot, so that requires the full cycle. Put it down, then you could pull the trigger. Not bad, you guys, not bad at all. The runtime, this does 2,250 nails per charge. I'm gonna assume that's with a four amp hour battery. Of course, very, if you have a jam, very easy to clear out the jam, then you are good to go. Oh, this thing is awesome. All right, so we do have that $50 Milwaukee Packout Plus Bits, model number for this 48-32-5151, up to $170 value. That's questionable, of course. Milwaukee Packout is really a good brand to actually have uh, for your tool storage. This does have two small bin containers. All right, yeah, this one is different than, let's see, yeah, this case is different. Looks the same. Uh, there are differences in the, in the actual latch. Oh, that is so much easier to take out. Getting these bits in and out of these slots is not fun to where you could just flat out pull it out like that and it comes out as easy as pie. And of course, the packout case is the smaller packout case. So I do love Milwaukee Packout's innovation and they actually make these great. Too bad that they couldn't have something right here where you could have this clicked and locked into place 
so that would just stick stick on like that but maybe in the future they'll do so all right so in the store walkthrough videos i've been majorly promoting the ryobi easy clean and i've been saying that i've been using both uh models the previous first generation of the easy clean model this one's brushed at 300 to 320 psi when it comes to the nozzle this just gets you know screwed in i'm not a fan of that i'm not a fan of that at all i only did like one or two videos on this specific tool because it's garbage this thing is not worth buying then later on they actually came out with this model which i actually done a couple of videos on this already it says ry121850 vnm it, it is an 18 volt tool I gotta do is push the button in then it goes in like a regular power washer and there are arrows indicating on where to put it in and i'm excited to test out in the uh, the next couple of weeks the easy clean power cleaner nozzle kit uh is like 21 dollars i think and it comes with a zero degree 25 degree and a 40 degree nozzle this is a nice little 600 psi portable power washer they do have three modes they have one two and three all right then the last thing i want to talk about is the scrubber bought this immediately as soon as they actually sold these and i the main thing i wanted to test out was if this was waterproof because if there if this wasn't waterproof then this tool is going to be useless to many people there is a lock and unlock sign on there just so you know which direction it goes in and yeah this actually does the trick. So that's pretty much it. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. And I'll see you guys on the next one.